First thing I want to do is measure up. But 18 inches from the floor. Mega mark. Draw a level line. Trace your marks. Get on the line. Okay, there's your box. What I do know is because um, you have to fit these little round screws through there, right here. At the corner, you have a little bit you have to take out. So, I like to draw a couple of holes here. So I need to draw my four holes. I usually draw, draw the holes on the outside of the plaster, a little bit outside the line, just so we have room to fit them off. Okay, the next step is optional. If you're, if you want to try and uh, Keep your lath in place. At this point, you can take a chisel, preferably an old one, and remove the plaster. Around your plug. And this will expose the lath. Now, This, this is optional. You don't have to do this part. You can go ahead and just cut it. But I will tell you that this will save a lot on your saw blades by removing the blaster. And you'll be able to make sure there's no stud in the middle. Because sometimes what'll happen is you'll even though you draw your holes around the four corners, you have a stud directly in the center. I've had it happen to me numerous times. So this is an optional. Okay, at this point, we want to um, go ahead and we're going to go ahead and cut our lath in there. Next, we're going to cut out our lath. We'll start at the bottom. You can use one of these saws, a jigsaw, even one of those. Uh, uh, saws that my brain can go in. I don't have one yet, but you can use one of them too. Next thing we're going to do is pull our wire through there. Okay, we're going to pull the wire through. Now, we're, we had access through the crawl space because there were no marks back there. So we didn't have to do any drilling through the, through the walls to get this. Um, 
we'll have to cover that uh, some other time. But basically, you get your wire through. Um, at this point, I usually like to strip the wire back. But I don't have my cutters on me right now, so we're going to go ahead and go forward here. You gotta take one of the uh, null cuts out. I usually like to use a two and a half or larger. Um, with the connector, you just tighten up. You can put a regular connector in the center there, but I usually like, don't like to get involved in that for this. But at this point, we'll just bring the wire through. Now, I'm not going to tighten it up because I'm going to cut this wire on uh, the 6 inches and then feed it back in to tighten it up. So, at this point, I'm going to put the box in the wall. Okay, at this point, we're actually in the wall. So, the next thing we're going to do is put our fingers in here. And then we're going to bend them around. 